All right, today we are going to be writing linear equations. Um, remember, we're going to keep them in slope-intercept form. So when we write the linear equations, they're going to end up looking like y equals mx plus b when we're done, okay? So the first thing, the first part, or, uh, the first thing we're going to learn about is point-slope formula, okay? So if you're given a point and you're given a slope, you'll be able to um, make an equation and solve for y and have yourself an equation uh, of a line. Okay, so point slope formula looks like this. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, remember m is the slope and the point is x1, y1. x1, y1, making it point slope formula. Okay, you want to be sure to distribute and solve for y, okay? So what we're gonna do with example one, we're gonna write the equation of a line that passes through the given point and has the given slope. We're gonna write all our answers in slope-intercept form, which instead is y equals mx plus b. All right, so let's label our point here. This is my x1, my y1, and here is my m. You are literally just plugging in those values x1, y1, and m. Note that it's subtraction here between the order pairs. So, you know, be careful when you get a negative. Let's plug it in. We always have the y first. y minus y1, y1 is 1, equals m, which is 2, parenthesis, x minus x1, which is 4. Okay? This equation is in point slope form. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to solve for y. My first step is to be sure to distribute and solve for y. Let's distribute 2 times x gives me 2x. Two, 2 times negative 4 gives me negative 8. I'm going to bring everything else down. Okay, I'm only one step away for solving for y. I want y to be all by itself here. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to add 1. That gives me y equals 2x minus 7. This equation is a linear equation, right? It's the equation of a line in slope-intercept form. Let's do the same thing for number 2. Here's my x1, y1. This is my m, okay? We're going to plug that into our formula. y minus y1, which is 4, equals 1 half, parenthesis, x minus x1, which is 2. Now you're like, oh gosh, the slope's a fraction, I have to distribute that. Do not worry, it's okay. 1 half times x is 1 half x. 1 half of negative 2, think about it, half of negative 2 is negative 1. Write everything else down. And now we're one step away from being done here. We need to get y by itself. Right now I'm subtracting 4. Well, the opposite of subtraction is addition. y equals 1 half x plus 3. Beautiful. All right, let's look at some more examples here. Oh, these slopes are fractions, but don't freak out, all right? I'm gonna write the point slope formula up here again. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1, okay? We want to plug in our ordered pair here, right? X and Y, and then we wanna make sure we plug in our slope in front of the parentheses, okay? This is my X coordinate, this is my Y coordinate. And then when you're done, you should look like, I mean, it should look like y equals mx plus b. That is slope-intercept form. Point slope, slope-intercept. Let's label our, what we have here. Negative 6 is my x1, 0 is my y1, and 2 thirds is my m. y minus y1, y minus 0, equals 2 thirds x minus negative 6. 
What happens when we have minus a negative? What happens is you make a big giant plus sign here because that becomes addition. Minus a negative is addition. Now let's distribute. Two thirds times x, well that's easy. That's two thirds x. Two thirds times positive six. So if you have a calculator or if you're using your cell phone or whatever, you can just do two divided by three times six. And that should give you four. Um, y is kind of already by itself because I could add zero to four and it's still gonna be four. So I'm just gonna bring down that y here and be done. Okay, I want you to pause the video and try to do four, five, and six on your own, okay? And then come back and check your answers. Okay, take a look at number four, okay? If you plugged it in properly, you should have y plus one equals negative three-fourths, parenthesis, x plus eight, close parenthesis. Then you want to distribute, right? And then you get negative three-fourths x. When I distribute negative three divided by four times eight, that gives me negative six. Then I add, subtract one from both sides, and I get y equals negative three-fourths x minus seven. Number five was nice and neat because there was no fraction. So you should have, end, you should have ended up with y equals negative one x plus one. Number six, y equals four x minus nine. All right, so we just have some more practice here. So let's do this one together. So for number seven, this is my x1, my y1, and my m. y minus negative is y plus five. If it's a negative, just change it to addition. It equals one third x minus negative 12, which is x plus 12. All right, now we need to distribute. One third x, one third times 12, is four. It's really like 12 divided by three, right? Oh, and then I still have y plus five on the other side. If I subtract five from both sides, it gives me y equals one third x minus one. Here for number eight, y plus eight equals negative three times x minus three. Remember, if it's a positive number, you're gonna have subtraction in front of it. If it's a negative number, you're gonna have addition in front of it. Let's distribute negative three x. Negative three times negative three is positive nine. Y plus eight. Subtract 8 to get y by itself, and y equals negative 3x plus 1. All right, I want you to do 9 and 10, so pause the video again, because I want you to be able to practice this. This is important. We're going to be writing equations for this entire unit, and it's really important that you know how to do this one. All right, check it out. So look at number 9. I have y equals negative 2 fifths x minus 5. Why did I say that? I was just kidding. y equals negative 2 fifths x minus 7. Hopefully that's what you got. Um, when you distribute it here, negative 2 fifths times 5, this would be positive 2. Because a negative times a negative makes a positive, and the 5 is going to take it out. Uh, for number 10, you should have got y equals 1x minus 3. All right, more practice ahead. Don't worry, it's good for you. All right, let's check at least one out. Number 11, I'm just gonna plug them in, right? I know this is my X1, that's my Y1, this is my M. If you want to label your numbers and, it take, and it'll keep you from making a mistake, then do that. Anything that's gonna keep you straight, do it. All right, Y plus one, because minus a negative is addition, equals negative four thirds X plus six because the coordinate was negative. Okay. I distribute negative four thirds x. Negative four thirds divided, I mean, times six. So negative four thirds times six is gonna be negative eight. 
So in your calculator or your cell phone or whatever you're using, just negative 4 divided by 3 times 6. You should get negative 8. Y plus 1. So I need to subtract 1 from both sides, and I get Y is equal to negative 4 third X minus 9. All right, let's look at number 12. I'll get into point slope. Y minus 9 equals 5 times x minus 4. Let's give you 5x minus 20, y minus 9. 5, 9, y equals 5x minus 11. Oh, 13 is a little funky. Um, let's check this one out here. All right, we have y plus 4, this is minus negative, equals 0, parenthesis, x minus 3. All right, this is really bizarre because when I distribute 0 to both things, I get 0. The 0 times anything is 0. I still have y plus 4. I still want to solve for y. So I'm going to subtract 4 and get y is equal to negative 4. This is a crazy equation. I'm going to circle this. Think about the line y equals negative 4. What kind of line is this? Do you guys remember? A y line is a horizontal line. So what you would do where, like, Here's my little y-axis. Here's my x-axis. What you would do is you would go where y equals negative 4 and make a point and then draw a line. This is a line y equals negative 4. A horizontal line with a slope of 0. It makes sense. So when you solve the slope of 0, maybe you were thinking, ooh, it's a horizontal line. And maybe you weren't. All right, these last three, I want you to practice on your own. And so pause the video so you can come back and check your work. All right, so check it out. Hopefully you did well. Number 14, you should have y equals 5, 6, x minus 3. All right, I know you guys get freaky about fractions, but it's not a big deal. 5 divided by 6 times 6 is positive 5. The 6s cancel each other out. Right? Then number 15, your equation is y equals one, negative one-fourth x plus zero. If you wanted to write it like this, y equals negative one-fourth x, that's not wrong. I'm okay with that. Or you can write the plus zero, whatever makes you happy, okay? But think about when you distribute this fraction. Negative one divided by four times positive four is negative one. The four is cancel each other out. So that's what you said. Uh, number six was nice because the slope was just a regular old integer, no fractions. Um, so you should have y equals negative 2x plus 6. All right, so complete the worksheet that is attached here. Um, it's single-sided, so that's not too bad. There's only 10 problems on here. Um, you're welcome. All right, have any questions, hit me up on Schoology. All right, bye.